Hi, I'm Fedora. You may remember me from such creepypasta readings as Squidward Suicide and Jeff the Killer. But tonight, I'm bringing you a double dose of Simpsons-related creepypastas. First up is Dead Bart. You know how Fox has a weird way of counting Simpsons episodes? They refuse to count a couple of them, making the amount of episodes inconsistent. The reason for this is a lost episode from Season 1. Finding details about this missing episode is difficult. No one who was working on the show at the time likes to talk about it. From what's been pieced together, the lost episode was written entirely by Matt Groening. During the reduction of the first season, Matt started to act strangely. He was very quiet, seemed nervous and morbid. Ah, oh, gee, old Matt's in the toilet now, and Sam Simon's stealing my wall! Oh, God, no! Mentioning this to anyone who was present results in them getting very angry and forbidding you to even mention it to Matt. I first heard of it at an event where David Silverman was speaking. Someone in the crowd asked about the episode, and Silverman simply left the stage, ending the presentation hours early. Good night, Springton. There will be no encores. The episode's production number was 7G06. The title was Dead Bart. The episode leveled 7G06, Moaning Lisa, was made later and given Dead Bart's production code to hide the latter's existence. In addition to getting angry, Asking anyone who was on the show about this will cause them to do everything they can to stop you from directly communicating with Matt Groening. At a fan event, I managed to follow him after he spoke to the crowd, and eventually had a chance to talk to him alone as he was leaving the building. He didn't seem upset that I followed him, probably expected a typical encounter with an obsessive fan. When I mentioned the lost episode though, all colour drained from his face and he started trembling. When I asked him if he could tell me any more details, he sounded like he was on the verge of tears. He grabbed a piece of paper, wrote something on it, handed it to me, and begged me never to mention the episode again. Guess who likes you? The piece of paper had a website address on it. I would rather not say what it is, for reasons you'll see in a second. I entered the address into my browser, and came to a site that was completely black except for one line of yellow text. A download link. I clicked on it, and a file started downloading. Once the file was downloaded, my computer went crazy. It was the worst virus I'd ever seen. System restore didn't work. The entire computer had to be rebooted. Before doing this though, I copied the file into a CD. I tried to open it on my now empty computer, and as expected, there was an episode of The Simpsons on it. The episode started off like any other episode, but had very poor quality animation. If you've seen the original animation for Some Enchanted Evening, it was similar, but less stable. The first act was fairly normal, but the way the characters acted was a little off. Homer seemed angrier. That's not odd. That's the key to his art. Marge seemed depressed. Lisa seemed anxious. And Bart seemed to have genuine anger and hatred for his parents. The episode was about the Simpsons going on a plane trip. Near the end of the first act, the plane was taking off. Bart was fooling around, as you'd expect. However, as the plane was about 50 feet off the ground, Bart broke a window on the plane and was sucked out. At the beginning of the series, Matt had an idea that the animated style of the Simpsons world represented life, and that death turned things more realistic. This was used in that episode. The picture of Bart's corpse was barely recognisable. They took full advantage of not having to move, and made an almost photorealistic drawing of his dead body. Act 1 ended with a shot of Bart's corpse. When Act 2 started, Homer, Marge, and Lisa were sitting at their table, crying. The crying went on and on. 
got more pain and sounded more realistic. Better acting than you'd think possible. The animation started to decay even more as they cried. You could hear murmuring in the background. The characters could barely be made out. They were stretching and blurring. They looked like deformed shadows with random bright colours thrown on them. There were faces looking in the window, flashing in and out, so that you were never sure what they looked like. <laughs> this crying went on for all of Act 2. Act 3 opened up with the title card saying one year had passed. Homer, Marge and Lisa were skeletally thin and still sitting at the table. There was no sign of Maggie or the pets. They decided to visit Bart's grave. Springfield was completely deserted. And as they walked to the cemetery, the houses became more and more decrepit. They all looked abandoned. When they got to the grave, Bart's body was just lying in front of the tombstone, looking like it did at the end of Act 1. The family started crying again. Eventually, they stopped and just stared at Bart's body. The camera zoomed in on Homer's face. According to summaries, Homer tells a joke at this part, but it isn't audible in the version I saw. You can't tell what Homer was saying. Maybe it was never meant to be audible. Maybe he was just thinking it. I know you can read my thoughts, viewer. The second I find out you haven't subscribed yet, your ass is mine. The view zoomed out as the episode came to a close. The tombstones in the background had the names of every Simpsons guest star on them. Some that no one had heard of in 1989. Some that hadn't even been on the show yet. And all of them had death dates on them. For guests who died since, like Michael Jackson and George Harrison, the dates were when they would die. The credits were completely silent and seemed handwritten. The final image was the Simpson family on their couch, like in the intros, but all drawn in hyper-realistic, lifeless style of Bart's corpse. Well, clearly there's only one way to end this. Worst episode ever. A thought occurred to me after seeing the episode for the first time. You could try to use the tombstones to predict the death of every living Simpsons guest star. But there's something odd about that. Most of the ones who haven't died yet, all of their deaths are listed as the same date. Well, that was Dead Bart, and eh, it was kind of generic. But believe me, it has not prepared you for the sheer awfulness of what is to follow. This is Homer.avi. Until recently, it was thought that Matt Groening had completely recovered from whatever was making him act so strangely during the Dead Bart incident, and that it had affected his normal life afterward. Recent claims from the employee who found the Dead Bart video, however, indicate that Matt Groening went through another, similar incident 10 years ago. It was the December of 1989, and The Simpsons had recently premiered. Matt was working on two shows now, and had started showing signs of stress. When he announced that he was working on another episode that would be 100% of his own writing, this terrified some staff who worked on both shows. But they were hesitant to bring up Dead Bart, and The Simpsons crew saw no reason to reject Matt's idea. Except for, you know, what you just said. An early version of it was made, and the employee who found Dead Bart managed to make a digital copy as well. The episode was called... Homer. The rest of the episode is composed of incomprehensible jumbles of colours, static, or just black screens. The audio seems to be a heavily distorted version of the audio from the original episode, with loud, droning buzzes occasionally interrupting it. Some people actually saw the episode, I was one of these people. Oh, jeez. This sounds like a terrifying episode. 
Uh, I wonder what it's about! I wanted to see the episode after hearing about it. On a forum, someone told me where I can download the episode. I entered the address into my browser, I would rather not say what it is for reasons you'll see in a second, and I came to a site that was completely black except for a line of white text. A download link. I clicked on it, and a file started downloading. Once the file was downloaded, my computer went crazy. It was the worst virus I'd ever seen. The system restore didn't work. The entire computer had to be rebooted. Before doing this though, I copied the file onto a CD. Okay, now you're just copying lines directly from Dead Bart. It's like one of those TV shows where they show a bunch of clips from old episodes. I tried to open it on my now empty computer, and as I expected, there was an episode of The Simpsons on it. After watching the episode, it scared me out of my mind. I had to get rid of the computer I watched the episode on. Even after a complete reformatting, it never worked correctly. The episode file could never be deleted from it, and it kept on opening on its own. I wiped the hard drive clean several times and the episode wouldn't go away. Okay, but what was the episode? The sound control didn't work and it was a laptop, but the power never seemed to run out, and I couldn't get it to turn off. I was going to keep the computer just so I would have a copy of the lost episode, but looking at it was making me nervous. I had a reoccurring nightmare several nights in a row. The episode was playing, but instead of the photorealistic Homer, it was my 10 year old self. I found a picture of myself at 10, and the nightmare was closer to it than my memory had ever been. I swear, that picture of myself at 10, dead, started flashing on the computer screen so quickly that I could never be sure. After that, I destroyed the computer. Okay, nonsense dream sequences, but what was the episode? I haven't been able to get the episode out of my head though, and decided to do more research to try and understand it. I would love to freaking understand it! What was the episode? I found a few people online who seemed to know about it. Apparently, the episode aired once in California. I have a cousin who was watching The Simpsons during the first season who lives around there, so I asked him if he remembered the episode. He asked me how I knew about it. It was a nightmare that he had that he'd only told his parents about, and I was only a few years old at the time. I told him about the episode I saw, and the people online who remembered it. He thought I was just playing a prank on him. And when I got him to look at the online posts about it, he screamed and hung up. He hasn't responded to any attempts I made to contact him since. Determined to get to the bottom of this, I kept searching online. I found someone who said they had a tape of it and that they would sell it to me. I was nervous, but determined to find out the truth about this and end the matter. I bought the tape as well as a really old and cheap TV VCR, since I had a feeling neither would be the same after I watched the episode. Okay, finally we'll get to see what all the fuss is about! The episode was pretty much the same as the file I downloaded. I don't want to say any more. <coughs> this wasn't worth it, and I'd give anything to go back to how I felt when I had the computer with the file scaring me. I destroyed the tape, but it didn't help. The commercials on the tape, I don't want to remember them. They were monsters from my dreams I'd never told anyone about. News promos about tragedies that hadn't happened yet. Surreal computer generated animation that wouldn't have been possible in the 80s. Or now for that matter. A former friend watched it with me, but he saw completely different things with one exception. There was a seemingly live news report from June 6, 2013, in complete monotone. He recited the details of millions of people having died in their sleep, some of them waking up for a few seconds first, rambling incoherently about something that people could only piece together had something to do with their nightmares. 
the episode did air in some countries. The people who saw the episode were killed in their sleep. And... <laughs> that was Homer.avi. As I said, Dead Bart's just a kind of generic haunted episode story. There's not really much to say about that. But at least they had the writing capabilities to show you why the episode was evil and why Matt might have been afraid of it. But Homer.avi... This is pretty much the mindset of that. It was really, really scary. Why? Oh, I can't tell you. It's just too scary. My writing capabilities are so good that if I actually described what was in the episode, you would have a heart attack. Well, that's all we have time for this week on Pillar Pastors. So, I'm Fedora, and until next time, thank you, come again.